are just learning the accused shooter at a California high school is dead tonight after turning the gun on himself following yesterday's awful shooting. They say he shot five of his classmates and tried to kill himself on his birthday. Miguel Amaguer has the latest. We've got an active shooter at Saugus High School. Right before the first school bell, the first shot was fired. Heavily armed officers in tactical gear giving cover to students. The victims rushed to local hospitals. Kids were just running and crying. The shooting happened in the school quad. Police say on his 16th birthday, Nathaniel Burhow pulled a gun from his backpack, unloading on five classmates before shooting himself in the head. We all raced out, and then while we were racing out, we heard three more gunshots behind us. It was over in 16 seconds. Police found the gun next to the shooter. It's a 45 caliber semi-automatic pistol, which had no more rounds in it, had no more bullets in it. All of the victims, teenagers. Two are dead, three are wounded. <laughs> Some parents could even hear the gunfire as they rushed to campus. Just a bunch of kids were screaming. The shooter, that a shooter, run, run, run. Soon after, investigators swarmed the shooter's home, police scouring his digital footprint for clues. This morning, students shaken, but in this age of school shootings, many have been bracing for a tragedy like this one. We've trained for this before, so basically we just got underneath the desks. We stay quiet. It was just a really scary experience. Miguel Almaguer. Yeah, that Miguel Almaguer reporting. Uh, very tough. And do want to reiterate once again that the shooter we have learned has died at the hospital. The sheriff's office confirming that information. Um, his mother was with him at the time when he died. Again, after turning the gun on himself, shooting five of his classmates. And those students still need to recover from all of this. We know that it remains under investigation. Under investigation.